The pronouns in this passage that we just looked at are plural. If Paul was a good southern boy, he would be saying y'all. And really what we know because of this is Paul was writing this letter, not just to a specific person, in a specific situation, in a specific town. Paul was writing to the whole church in Corinth. Paul was saying, let me give everybody, let me give you all some advice. If you're single, don't try to get married. Because if you get married, because of this present crisis, you're going to have no choice but to focus your attention on your husband. Or you'll have no choice but to give your time and energy to your wife and to your children. There's no way around it. Those are earthly responsibilities earthly responsibilities that the Apostle Paul elder, in another spot in the New Testament says, you are worse than an unbeliever. You are more wicked than a sinner if you're married and you're a husband and you don't take care of your family. And Paul is saying, when you're married, you have no choice but to take care of your family. It is a command of God. This one's not an option. So if you have the option, maybe you shouldn't get married. And he says the reason why is because whether you like it or not, at that point, your interests are now divided. Now, I love Jesus, but I also love my wife. Now, I'm devoted to God, but I'm also devoted to my children. And now, my children take time and attention that I can't give to Jesus. Now, my husband takes time and attention and a lot of my personal energy that I could be giving to Jesus. And Paul says, no matter how you slice it, a relationship puts restrictions on you. You don't have a relationship if anything goes. No matter what, a friendship, marriage relationship, parent and child, if there's no rules, no restriction, you really don't have a relationship. But the word restriction that Paul uses here is the word that we would use to refer to a noose, a hangman's noose, or the knot that you would tie on a snare to catch an animal at a, in a trap in the woods. Didn't you think it's funny that sometimes we refer to marriage as tying the knot? And the knot that we may be referring to is a noose or a snare that puts a restriction on you that whether you like it or not, once you tie the knot, you're now restricted and not able to do anything you want. A husband who does anything as he wants, a wife who gets away with anything she wants, regardless of the marriage, is, doesn't really have a relationship. And Paul says... The only way to be totally undivided and completely focused on your relationship with God is not to get married. 